Hello YouTube. Today I will be showing you how to identify low grade boards in electronics that you'll scrap on a daily basis if you're that kind of person that just don't go with the steel and base metals that don't require any work at all. You'll usually encounter um, circuit boards. Anything that is plugged in will most likely contain a circuit board if it isn't something completely mechanical like a blender. Unless that's a control panel on it, then it would have a board. But those kind of machines, you'll find low-grade boards. Low-grade boards, by definition, have a whole bunch of copper traces, but little to no higher value precious metals like gold and silver. So, for example, you get one of the examples of low-grade boards is this piece here. This is something that came off of a keyboard where all the lights you would see when you would it would light up if there would be you know, you're engaging the caps lock or any of those kind of things. These guys usually have. Only thing I really go after is the little round orange, that round orange capacitor there that contains silver in the solder inside, bonding the like kind of a wafer in the middle that has contained silver in it as well. And so. On the back, there's nothing. So then we're moving on to another board here. The second board here has, it's also a low grade. As I've been talking about them. On the back here, we got nothing except the little um, vacuum display here. These would light up the numbers depending on the amount of voltage. It would, you know, supply voltage to a certain pin and it would light up a corresponding digit. And so that pretty much has nothing in there I'm going to get. It might be maybe silver, but I doubt it. I doubt there's anything in there that I want to take. Here is an IC chip on the very edge. Usually these IC chips, they're black with eight legs on them. For example, this is a, that's the IC chip right there. That piece has gold bonding wires, but sometimes just silver. Or just tin bonding wires or nickel. Usually, these kind of boards they have low value chips. And we got another bigger chip, which, of course, with all these chips, I remove it with heat. And when I remove it with heat, with my heat gun, I will be able to put that to the side and put it into a big container. And when I get enough, I'll incinerate them and get all the gold out of them with acids. Which I use a fume hood for that. So, here's a pierce. I don't know if that is, but I think that might be an inductor. Inductors are just ferrite core, just surrounded by ferrite, but there's copper wire inside. Usually, low grade boards are a good source of copper and rarely any precious metals. So, that's pretty much it for that board. Third and final board I want to show you is something from the television. So, you get these from TVs. Um, any tube TV will have this kind of board. There's a big flyback transformer which supplies voltage to the tube and, is, and just generates a whole bunch of um, extremely high voltage up to 50 kilo volts which is usually the standard. And so you'll find a big ferrite core right there. It's just steel. And I just remove it with heat or just whack it off with a hammer and I put that in with my regular copper bearing motors. We also got an inductor there. Inductors usually, which are these two bits. Those things have, are uh, basically as well, ferrite, but with copper wrapped around them. And so we also got aluminum heat sinks, two of them. And be sure that you remove all the steel screws and all the steel components because those are good quality, high grade aluminum. And you can get a lot of money from them. Just be sure that you remove all steel um, pins holding them down to the board. And so we also got another um, another copper bearing motor right next to it. And we got a whole bunch of more of those um, orange capacitors that we want to remove as well. It's just a... Um, I believe that's a sister or I don't know what that is um, anyway 
I'll have to think about it, what it's called. But anyway, these guys usually don't have anything in them that you want to get. It's just like ceramic type thing. It's like cement resistors, I think. Yeah, they're cement resistors. If I'm wrong, sorry, I don't know that much electronics. But, I know some, but not a lot. So we're flipping it over here. We got nothing at first, but if we take close attention there, that black thing is indeed a IC chip. IC chips. These kind of IC chips are usually removed with heat as well. And with it, next to it, you got all of those. Guys, if we can focus. Let's see if we can try focusing. Yeah, there we go. Those little brown boxes, those are all uh, monothic ceramics, and you can remove those with heat or just get a chisel and hit it with a hammer and they'll come off. You just stick it inside a jar, like I do right here. This is all um, your monothic ceramics. And when you get enough, you can process them with various acids, which I need to go and I need to research more about it and see how I'm going to go about the process. It's pretty complicated though, a lot more complicated than gold refining. So, I wouldn't I wouldn't do it until you have a lot. Plus the magnetic. See, the magnetic. Anyway, so I hope you found that useful in your journey of scrapping electronics, and I'll see you guys later.